head faking is tearing him up. Well, that proves that you can learn from a loss. Donald at the free throw line. No good. Lebanon just can't buy one from the free throw line. Troop going to go out. With three minutes to play in the third period, he's got four. He's good as gone. Donald, second free throw. Off no good. Rebound. Donald on the foul. That's four on him. Trying to follow his own shot. Got on the back of Wiggins. And Gallatin will have it in the backcourt, leading 37 to 35. 302 to play here in the third period. Boy, very shack like numbers for Donald. He's two for eight for 25% from the line. Donald goes out and Crowell comes in. Messenger, far side, three on two. Gallatin break. Lee Law with it. Brings it outside. And here's Shipley to Messenger in the corner to Wiggins. Lebanon defense got over there in a hurry. Wiggins trying to fly it underneath, gets it to. Malone and then gets it back outside and will dribble it back out front and try to set it up again. Malone fakes, goes underneath, pushes, can't get the shot away. Outside Lee Law for three. That won't go. Air ball. Air ball. And uh, <laughs> our key up with it. Nobody else will yell it. You yell it. I'll okay. yell it. Moore going to the baseline. His little eight-foot jumper's in and out. No good. Long outlet pass. Here comes Gallatin, two on two. Gallatin layup on the other end is good. Lee Law got the layup. And they beat Lebanon down on a fast break and go up by four again. Here's Moore with it on the left wing for the Blue Devils. Underneath the crowd, and they take it away. Messenger, or make it Shipley, comes up with a steal for Gallatin, and Lebanon had pulled it within two. Now they fall behind by four, and Gallatin's got the basketball. Two minutes to play, third quarter, here in a barn burner at Lebanon High School. They bring it outside to Wiggins. Wiggins around the corner to Lee Law on the right wing back to Shipley his runner is good nice job making messenger his jumper was nice got a big roll on it and it's 41 35 a six-point game once again Lebanon moving it over the timeline working out front Blue Devils not getting any movement now we get a foul on Wiggins and the way the Blue Devils have been shooting, we hope you get the ball out of bounds and don't go to the free throw line. Well, Man, the Blue Devils are horrible from the free throw line tonight. I would definitely much rather have the ball out of bounds on the side. Nick Manning in for the Blue Devils. He'll make the inbounds toss for the Lebanon team. Gets it into our key grooms and we'll get it back. Manning with it on the wing on the right side. Bothered by Messenger. Manning gets it outside to Hall. Hall to Manning. Manning trying to get free of Messenger. Can't do it. Gets it to Crowell out on top. Crowell top of the key. Back to Manning on the left side. And they get it to Hall. Hall will try to set it up. Hall bounce pass down low. Threw it away. Gallatin with it. Two on one break. And Crowell knocked it free from behind, but commits the foul. Mm. Boy, that was, it's, this is a physical game tonight. No other way to put it. Extremely physical. Messenger will make the inbounds toss for the wave. Flips it off in backcourt to Wiggins. Wiggins to Shipley, down in the corner to Messenger, as Gallatin works to the basket to your right. Gets it back outside to Shipley. Shipley. To Wiggins, Gallatin trying to come out. Great feed, a great steal by Lebanon by Steverson, but he comes down in the front row of the Gallatin sex, uh, cheering section over there. So Boy, Gallatin will have it inside Gort. He got a little spring in that jump, too, doesn't he? If he'd got both feet in, that would have been a catch. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong game. No, you're close. <laughs> Wiggins with it in backcourt. Wiggins to the near side to Shipley. Back to Wiggins over on the left wing. Lob underneath. Kick it outside. Shipley for three. That one is good. Can't leave him Shipley open. knocks it down for three, and we got a nine-point game again. 44-35. Blue Devils need a basket. They go down in the corner to Manning. Open for three. This one is way short. Crowell gets it. Puts it up and in. Crowell with a score underneath for the Blue Devils. Makes it a seven-point game, 44-37. Gallatin with it. Lob pass near side. Lebanon stole it. Manning with it. Manning going to take it all the way down and get fouled. They'll charge Lee Law with a foul, and it'll put Manning at the free throw line for a pair. Four on Lee Law. So Gallatin has Bowers, Lee Law, and Tyler Troop all with four fouls, and that is their sixth team foul. So after this... And Nick Manning back at the free throw line where the Blue Devils can't buy one tonight. I was going to say, unfortunately, we'll be in the bonus after this. Two 
for Manning. Number one's on the way and good. Boy, it's good to see him hit one for a change. It's been a while. That makes him one for three. He was 0 for two in the first half. Cuts the lead to six, can cut it to five if he hits this one. Nick Manning, the Lebanon sophomore, 6 3 sophomore at the line. Second free throw, good, got them both. And it's 44 39, a five point game. And Gallatin with the ball. Messenger with three seconds left. Now up in the corner, it's off Gallatin out of bounds, and the buzzer will sound. And at the end of three, it's Gallatin 44, Blue Devils 39. We'll be back after a 30-second commercial with... That's the one that Lebanon really couldn't afford to lose. Lebanon will have the basketball to open the fourth quarter. They get it into the hands of uh, Justin Johnson, who's in at the point now. Johnson kicks it off on the right side to Nick Manning. Manning trying to go underneath, can't do it. Looks for somebody, gets it to Steverson over on the right wing. Steverson back to Manning. Lebanon trying to get something going here. Manning drives to the baseline, looks for somebody. Lob, here's Crowell, laid in, good. Nice speed, Manning to Crowell, and they cut it to three. Four for Crowell, and it's 44-41. Gallatin in the backcourt going to be fouled, and I think that's going to be Manning. A little too aggressive, but you can't fault hustle. Kind of tiki tack, but I guess they'll call that every time. So we walk to the other end now as that's the 17th foul, and it's going to put Wiggins at the free throw line. And he's been automatic. And he has he has perspired more than anybody tonight. His uniform's almost black from, well, it is. He's, from perspiration. He's really put out some effort tonight. He's been the workhorse handling the ball. He's at the free throw line and will have one and one coming his way. Wiggins looks, fires, and it's good. Back rim, front rim, hung that front rim, and then hit the back and fell in. Arkey coming back in for Lebanon. Wiggins. Bowers is back in for Gallatin, the big 6'6 six, six Bowers. Wiggins four for five from the line so far. Wiggins looks and fires and hits number two cleanly. 46-41. And it's kicked by Malone on the toss in, and it'll belong to Lebanon. Gallatin now going to hit the Blue Devils with a... Their own 1-2-1-1 one, one, one zone. With a... Please zone here and the Blue Devils got to hurry to get it in. They do so to Crowell. Crowell back to Arkey to Steverson on the near side. Steverson cut it in the middle. Lebanon moving it over the timeline. Manning sliding along the baseline. 12 footer won't go. Crowell fights for it. And let's see who they're going to call. Crowell I believe. Yes they will call Crowell. And that puts Galton at the line to shoot one and one. That's the 17th foul on Lebanon, or eight, excuse me. And the worst news is it's Messenger. And he's he's sure, probably he's one of the best shots on the team. Messenger at the free throw line will have the one and one for Gallatin. And he hits number one. Free throw line has saved the Gallatin team tonight. 47 to 41. Boy, they have made hay. I don't think they missed but two all night. Messenger second throws good. They just hit four in a row from there in a moment, a moment ago. 13 out of 15 for the night. Steverson moving it over the line for the Blue Devils. Goes off in the corner, looks, brings it outside. Our key open with a 12-foot bank that won't go. Rebound, Big Bowers pulls it off in there. Bowers kicks it out to the left side, and here comes Wiggins with 6.55 to play. Wiggins bringing it outside. They go off in the corner. Messenger with a three ball out of the corner, and he drills it. Deadly. 51-41, the Blue down by 10. Now as Gallatin has a quick spurt here after the Blue Devils had cut it to five. 16 for Messenger. Justin Johnson gets it over on the left wing, and here's Manning taking it to the hoop. Missed the layup, and Bowers comes off for the score with the ball. They kick it outside to Wiggins. Gallatin coming down. Gallatin beginning to take charge here in the fourth quarter. Shipley with it out front. Crossover dribble trying to get out front. Messenger thought about that three from the right wing. Boy, that would Looks have been a long three. Brings it outside to Crowell. Yeah, but he's, he had it in his mind, <laughs> yeah. that the, but the defense got out there. Shipley to Malone. Malone bounce pass to Bowers in the corner. Lebanon knocked it free, but Bowers comes up with it. And bring it outside. Gallon got a hustle to save it. Lebanon with a steal. Here's Justin Johnson. Lay in no good, but Johnson will go to the free throw line as Great Wiggins fouls him. Justin Johnson stole that thing. I don't know how, but he came from somewhere. 
and knocked it free and had a layup, missed it, but he was fouled and will go to the free throw line. We get Donald, Cross, Moore, and somebody else, the number I can't see over there, getting ready to come into the Lebanon lineup. That may be Winfrey. Boy, Coach Luna is just absolutely livid. And um, Lou Law has fouled out. Kyle is not happy. <laughs> Nobody's happy except Gallatin there in, the, there in the lead. Free throw, Lebanon misses again. Johnson misses number one. Tick has improved his looks considerably, hasn't he? Yes, he has. We were just commenting <laughs> on that fashion statement he made with the uh, wonderful dental work he did at halftime. <laughs> Free throw is Johnson rolls it good, and it's 51-42, a nine-point game. Here's Shipley in the backcourt. Shipley gets it off to Bowers. Bowers out front, back out front to Shipley, to Wiggins off on the left wing. Down low, they go to Malone. Slides in front. Malone's jumper's good. I don't know how he got that one over our key, but he did, and it's 53-42. Biggest lead of the ball game now is the wing rave trying to pull away. He's worked hard for those first two points. And Gallatin knocks it away and takes it away on defense as Lebanon tried the bounce pass through a traffic, and it didn't go. They bring it out front. Driving to the baseline is Gallatin. Malone this time loses it. Out of bounds. He it's, wanted to score he's again. He's still that adrenaline rush from that two points he scored a minute ago. Yeah, he out. did. Timeout going to be called, 520 to play, 53-42. Lebanon still on the short end of the stick here at Lebanon High School. We'll be back after 30 seconds with the remainder of this one. Sent. Would still be a little closer than we are. Well, i got to tell you, this is, this is something else here. Lebanon bringing it down. Freddie Hall back in at the point for the Blue Devils. Hall working outside against Wiggins. Gets it on the near corner to Moore. Moore taking it to the baseline and is going to be fouled. As he drew the foul, got the shot away. And let's see if Moore can have any luck at the free throw line. I don't think he's been there tonight. Boy, Coach Luna's living. He can't believe they're going to get a chance to score with the clock stopped. So that is uh, Shipley's third and eighth team foul. 